Hello, Book Foxes. Welcome back to At the Book Fox Summaries, keeping books simplified for your busy life, one summary at a time. Today we're diving into the world of unconventional economics with Freakonomics by Stephen D. Levitt and Stephen J. Dubner, published in 2005 under the genres of nonfiction, economics, sociology. This book takes a unique approach to exploring everyday phenomena through the lens of economics, challenging conventional wisdom and uncovering hidden truths. In Freakonomics, they set out to explore the hidden side of, well, everything. The inner workings of a crack gang, the truth about real estate agents, the myths of campaign finance, the telltale marks of a cheating schoolteacher, the secrets of the Ku Klux Klan. Let's dive. Freakonomics explores three main themes. Incentives matter, the power of data, and conventional wisdom is often wrong. These themes help us understand how economic principles can be applied to various aspects of life, revealing surprising insights. The authors explain how incentives drive human behavior and influence decision-making processes. They categorize incentives into three types, economic, social, and morale. For example, they argue that the decrease in crime rates in the 1990s was influenced by the legalization of abortion, which led to fewer children being born into adverse conditions. Levitt and Dubner emphasize the importance of data in uncovering hidden patterns and truths. They advocate for a data-driven approach to understanding complex social issues. One compelling example is how real estate agents may prioritize their own profit over their clients, a truth revealed through careful data analysis. Conventional wisdom is often wrong. Think critically. The book highlights how commonly accepted beliefs are frequently incorrect. By challenging these beliefs, the authors encourage readers to think critically and question the status quo. For instance, they demonstrate that parents' socioeconomic status and education have a more significant impact on a child's academic success than specific parenting techniques. Key Concept, Crime Rates, and Abortion The authors present a controversial argument that the legalization of abortion in the 1970s contributed to the drop in crime rates in the 1990s. They suggest that unwanted children are more likely to become criminals, and by reducing the number of unwanted births, crime rates declined. Key Concept Cheating Teachers and Sumo Wrestlers By analyzing patterns and test scores and match outcomes, Levitt and Dubner demonstrate how cheating can be detected in seemingly honest systems. They find evidence of teachers altering students' test answers and sumo wrestlers fixing matches to benefit their standings. Key Concept Economics of Drug Dealing The book explores the economic structure of a drug dealing gang, likening it to a corporate hierarchy. They reveal that most gang members earn low wages, while the leaders reap significant profits, challenging the stereotype of drug dealers living lavish lifestyles. Key Concept Naming and Socioeconomic Status Levitt and Dubner examine how the names parents give their children can reflect their socioeconomic status and potentially influence their future success. They find that names associated with higher socioeconomic status can lead to better outcomes for children. Key Concept Understanding Information Asymmetry and Power The Case of the KKK Levitt and Dubner discuss the Ku Klux Klan KKK in the context of their analysis of information asymmetry and how information can be used as a tool of power. The KKK relied heavily on secrecy and symbols to maintain its power and instill fear. The organization's rituals, code words, and symbols were known only to its members, creating an aura of mystery and menace. Stetson Kennedy, a journalist and activist, infiltrated the Klan and exposed their secrets to the public. By sharing information about their rituals and code words, he aimed to demystify the organization and strip it of its power. The story of the KKK in Freakonomics illustrates how information asymmetry can be used to gain power and how exposing information can undermine that power. Application to Life Today Hidden Forces Shape Our World Freakonomics encourages readers to look beyond the obvious and consider the hidden forces shaping our world. By applying the principles of incentives, data analysis, and critical thinking, we can better understand and navigate the complexities of modern life. Conclusion Think Beyond the Obvious Freakonomics offers a fresh perspective on how we view the world, blending economics with everyday life to reveal surprising truths. It's a thought-provoking read that challenges us to question our assumptions and explore the hidden side of everything. Before we go, we ask for your help. 
please subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments what book you'd like us to cover next. If you found this summary intriguing, hit the like button, share with friends and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.